We have recovered from our arduous journey from Tulketh for a more favourable destination in a backwater named Beckonsgill. We've been granted not only land, but the vast forest and demesne of Furness, small islands including that of Huguenai, which local peasants name Wone or Wolne, and the manor of Ulver's Ton, accepting land of Michael Le Fleming. We have retained our fisheries on the Great Loon near Lancaster and we will be able to negotiate land to benefit the Abbey here, I am certain. <laughs> Thus might have been the words and sentiments of Ewan Davranche, first Savignac Abbot of Furness, on arrival here in the year 1127. Having settled first at Tulketh in 1124 on a site overlooking the River Ribble at Preston, their benefactor, Stephen, then Count of Boulogne and Mortain and later King of England, soon granted the monks richer land on a much more suitable site in Lower Furness. And so began the nearly 900 years of history of our Abbey. It's Our Abbey is a new book written by Jill Jepson and Ron Creer of the Friends Group Furness Abbey Fellowship and it tells the story of Furness Abbey as it may have been experienced by the people who were here over those 900 years. The monks and stonemasons from the 12th century onwards. Brother John Stell, Abbey Scribe. Abbot John Cockrum, who in the 14th century fortified the island dwelling that we now know as Peel Castle. Roger, the last abbot of Furness, who signed the deed of surrender in 1537. And the king's agents who then stripped, destroyed and liquidated the abbey. And then after the dissolution, artists, antiquarians and travellers. Poets and writers such as William Wordsworth and Beatrix Potter. The early industrialists of Barrow and the Victorian tourists who flooded in after the opening of the Furness Railway in 1846. But of course this story and history continues into the present day and It's Our Abbey also features living memories and experiences from local schools, mystery plays, archaeologists, historians, volunteers and English heritage. It's Our Abbey tells the story of those 900 years of history through the prism of the eyes and minds of those who have known it best. And now it's time to hear that story. <laughs>